Hi, my name's Nick Jeffries of New Projects and you're watching New Weekly, episode 19. That, so it comes in these sort of uh, segments and basically you can just hang them on the wall in Lightwells. We offer so much value through architecture, interior design, project management and construction. No other design and build company will offer as much value as what we do. When I said, you must be our only subscriber. And he laughed and guess what? We're working on a project now with Bradley and it could be a 1.5 million pound investment, which this guy is gonna be doing. The project in Chigwell, the 10,000 square foot house. I had a phone call from the client on the way up and uh, they've exchanged contracts. So it's Monday morning, 9 a.m. and um, looks like Will's not here at the moment. Izzy's working from home today and uh, it's Jemima's day off. So the sun's out, which is a bonus because over the weekend, it was shocking. Uh, a good friend of mine, Callum Best, he invited me, Izzy and Zoe down to Dorking Wanderers Football Club which he is the chairman of the ladies team and uh, they are looking to get some sponsorship. So potentially, New will be sponsoring the ladies team across their kits. Also gonna be having some like banners around the, around the pitch anyway. So I, I, I know what they're after, it's just the finer details we're working on. Hold on a sec, I'm just gonna turn that off off yeah so it's just the final details the look it looks like we're going to do the deal it's just um payment terms basically um but as i said it's monday already got a parking ticket so thanks very much hammersmith and fulham um, i'm just going to show you a sample of a living wall well, it's a fake living wall, actually. It's gonna go in a light well of a basement we're doing in Chelsea. And um, this company has sent us this sample pack. And basically, it is that. So it comes in these sort of uh, segments and basically you can just hang them on the wall in light wells so instead of having a, a, a real plant based living wall which is going to be really hard to get light into the basements and also irrigation with water these things die off pretty quickly if they're real so having a fake uh, living wall uh, looks pretty good and it makes the you know, especially with nice lighting coming up on the wall, looks amazing. So this is for a client in Chelsea we're working on, you know, Beaufort Street. No, not Beaufort Street. This is going into the one in Knightsbridge, Montague Square. So we're still working on that one. That's that. And then, this is the, documents for Beaufort Street. So this is basically the full tender pack. And now we've um, we put together, we've got the CDM action plan. We have the F10, so the site is now registered with the health and safety executive. That work's gonna be commencing pretty soon. We've got considerate const construction. The site is now registered for considerate construction. And that is the uh, scope of works with all the drawings, existing, proposed, 
you know, everything. We keep them, we keep these plans in like little vinyl slips so it keeps it really nice and clean and tidy. It looks professional, doesn't it? So everything is here now. The whole pack is ready to go. We should be on site the first week of March. So that is Beaufort Street. I think Zoltan went there yesterday to do some B-roll. So we keep these really tidy. Um, so what other news? We've got a Zoom call today with the owner of Vicarage Gate. He's based in Shanghai. So I'm not on the call. Will O'Brien, the architect, is on the call with the client and they're gonna be discussing the basement under the lower ground floor. So I think I showed you some sketches, didn't I? Two kind of sketches. One with a big swimming pool and one with like a half swimming pool. So they're gonna discuss, you know, what makes sense. But see, the only thing, the only negative there is when you build a swimming pool, it doesn't get classed as sellable space because you can't, it's a swimming pool. Unless, because well, what this guy wants, he wants the swimming pool floor to be motorized so it comes up. So then it does. But for that, for that little luxury, that swimming pool floor coming up, it's probably gonna cost a hundred grand more for the swimming pool. So that is that. I also sent an email chasing the guy who is buying the property in Cloncurry. He wants a basement side loft pod full refurb. I did speak to him yesterday and he's still struggling to get the completion through. Uh, but he said the neighbour also wants a basement side loft pod. They're speaking to another designer build contractor, but he's passed them my details. So maybe we can get two applications in at the same time. And there's not really any cost cutting savings to be fair, but we can probably give this client who's introduced us to this guy some kind of reward, some kind of introduction fee which he can maybe offset against his construction, maybe. So hopefully it's gonna be a busy day today. So let's have another catch up a bit later on. So I'm back in the car and I am driving the streets of Fulham just to see what our competition is up to. And uh, I've already just been down Mimosa Street and I've seen two hoardings up with conveyors coming out. So it looks like they're doing basements and they're like literally two or three houses apart. And uh, I've never heard of this company before. I won't mention their names, but they're just popping up um, all the time, different brands. Um, I am, where are we now? Fernhurst Road. Fernhurst Road in Fulham. And uh, we've been, we've quoted a number of projects down here before. Haven't won them, but we've quoted them. And this Fernhurst just comes to uh, Munster Road, then it goes into Gowan Avenue. Oh no, Waldor. But I'm gonna just gonna pop my head into this project around the corner because we quoted it about seven, eight months ago. And uh, what we tend to have is a lot of window shoppers. So people looking for prices, they don't really want to commit to one company. They want to go out to three, four, five different construction companies, which is a little bit of a waste of time really, because um, it takes so long to price these jobs up. It's a little bit disrespectful to the contractor because they want to win the job and they're not gonna turn down a tender, but it may cost them 
five, six, seven, eight hundred pounds for a basic uh, uh, tender pack from a quantity surveyor. And if you are, you know, going for five or six or seven tenders a month, that's a lot of money, isn't it? Because the odds are you're not going to win the contract. So where are we? Felden Road. So we got one hoarding there. Tricam construction. Never heard of that one. One hoarding there. Oh yes, I know that one. And one hoarding there. Three. Yeah, competition is fierce to win these projects. But guess what? We offer so much value through architecture, interior design, project management and construction. No other design and build company will offer as much value as what we do. And Even though we're pretty good at uh, pricing jobs up, it's usually the client make some changes or extras or variation chair changes or that's when the price goes up it's not when we get our prices wrong and we've got to go back to the client to say sorry you made a mistake doesn't happen like that it's usually the client wants to change the design or they want something extra you know they want to move a wall or more joinery extra light fittings so yeah it's interesting to see what other people are doing So, sorry I haven't created any video today because I have been dealing with projects which can't be shown on video. And uh, the meetings as well, some of the people are a little bit discreet and they don't really like social media, not like us. Uh, but I'm heading back to the office and I'm going to be sitting down with Zoltan in about 10 minutes and we're gonna go over YouTube. Now, We've been doing YouTube for a good two years, but not really putting a lot of effort in until we start to do New Weekly. So we're gonna look at some of the videos we've done and um, we just wanna learn how to create the perfect thumbnail, how to do the keywords and the titles properly in the description, because we don't really have a clue, we're just sort of we're guessing at the moment and none of them none of the videos have really hit the mark um, and taken off because we're dealing with a niche subject aren't we like renovations basements loft conversions and you know that so to the average person it's pretty boring um, so I'm heading back to the office stuck in traffic and uh, we we'll catch up soon don't ask me Um, this woman who's on our thing, she came. She was on, did she? No, this is, what was this? No, she, she, I thought she, she, had a, she was on TV last night. Okay. She had a, it was called Millionaires and Me. Okay. And um, she's on our Instagram. So she comments on our photos and that. Okay. So I don't know whether any of you guys watched that program last night. It's called Millionaires and Me and uh, she's a local lady based in Belgravia. She's an entrepreneur and property developer. She does loads of stuff. And she had a show on TV last night following her. 
day-to-day uh, -day, uh, antics and uh, what she gets up to. And she's got this presence by creating content and I think mm -hmm. she's done a few little programs as well. Mm -hmm. Ladies of London, I think, a few years ago over there, Sophie Stanbury. But, so I'm back in the office with Zoltan and we're on our YouTube uh, channel. And um, so let's just go to videos. And uh, we our first video, let's go sort. Oldest. So my first ever video we did <laughs> was three years ago. And it was called, Why Build a Basement in London? Should we have a little click on it? 611 views. Well, it's been on there for quite a long time, yeah, isn't it? So, yeah. again, new to the channel, didn't really know what to do, a little bit camera shy, audio, so that. Plus more. Now, um, if you did that in, things to consider when you. It's only five five minutes. Take the muck away, you know, it does block the road, people. And then uh, this one. Hi, Nick Jeffries here. Terrible. Please subscribe to my channel. Listen and to I that. will be posting lots more trade secrets of how to increase your So I was just literally, uh, I, I, I created the YouTube channel because I had an ex-business partner and uh, we split up in 2016, 17, and I wanted to create a channel to put everything out there because if he was gonna spread some dirt or negativity, I wanted to make sure that he couldn't ever have anything on me because I put everything out there. So I was talking about my bankruptcy, my things were happening on in my, happening in my life, um, and I was just creating the content and putting it out there. And it, this was about you know trials and tribulations of being an entrepreneur, you know, and that's uh, nothing has changed because we still got dramas now, yeah. different kinds of dramas. Um, this is just what happens when you run a business. Um, so let's go to the uh, newest one. So basically. Since Zoltan's been on board, we've been creating new weekly. And uh, we try and create content like this every day and we launch it the Monday after. And it's uh, like a 50 minute, uh, one hour video of, of me day to day running of the company, a little bit about the staff, about our projects, about what's going on in the company, talking about tips. But it's, you know, our first video we did four months ago that's got 732 views. It's not too bad. Oh, look who that is. Let's get over that. So basically, it wasn't too bad. Uh, we're still learning. And, and again, with YouTube, it's all about the title, the description, and the keywords. And I don't think at the moment we've got it quite right yet. But listen, off the back of these first few videos, We've had jobs, we've had interested people. Yeah. So even uh, today, there's been emails going back and forth with an investor who originally saw this video and he called up at six o'clock in the evening one night and said, hi, my name is, J I've been watching your video on YouTube. And I said, you must be our only subscriber. And he laughed and guess what? We're working on a project now with Bradley and it could be a 1.5 million pound investment, which this guy's going to be doing. Yeah. So you never know. Just you never know right who's best. watching. So we're all I'm doing, I'm doing my best. I'm not a film star. Zoltan's not a, a professional, you know, we're just learning as we're going. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the strap lines, the videos, the content, and, and, and it's really hard when running a business, if you are stressed out or you're not very creative at this punk moment in time, it's hard to get the camera in front of your face and to record. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what was our best one? So our best one so far was our first episode. Mm -hmm. And then the first maybe two, three, four of them, you know, they're 480 views. But, you know, what, what do you think, Zoltan? You know, do you think you're improving as you're getting on? Do you think I'm improving? Yeah, I think it's... Uh 
did, did not change, didn't change anything, really. It's the improvement in the way of thumbnail, yes. Yeah. We, we adding, I, I cannot see you know, like much improvement on the title either, because, because it's, it's, not, it's not really the title is bad, because it's gonna pick it, so algorithm mm -hmm. can pick anything, so even the music, we pick it. Mm -hmm. But we improved you know, the video editing, definitely we try to imitate others, or we do some nice stuff, the definitely. funny stuff we don't remember, or we done you know, the more music involved, because now we have the account with mm -hmm. art list and other people, so they definitely improved, but but I think it's it's just about you know how what your audience is because mm. we don't want to yeah. we don't it's not about getting three hundred thousand followers who no, are all over the not, world not at all this is about building a a niche yeah. in our area of London West London yeah. maybe other parts of prime London who are potential customers yeah, that's it that is it that's full it. stop you, you have a million people but one only one to buy so if we <laughs> this week uh, this week's episode it went up on Monday it's got 75 views which is not good yeah, yeah. but if one of those views ends up to be a potential client and they're spending... But that was from yesterday though. Yeah. That's very pretty good. To it's do not, it's not too bad. From the things where we just started. you know. The not too bad. Mm -hmm. But one of those views yeah. ends just up buying or buying mm -hmm. or we're developing you know, That's one of their projects. Yeah. Could be a, could be an interior design job worth mm -hmm. 10 grand. Could be a basement, cyber and loft conversion yeah. worth a million pounds. Could be a new build project. We don't know. All I know that creating content, what we're doing now, works. Yeah, creating long Perfect. form video, which can be chopped up into smaller pieces for social media, Instagram, yeah. Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. Yeah. It works. So um, I'm happy with what's going on. I wish Great. I could be create more creative and come out of lots more ideas, but it's hard. You know, I'm not a professional. We're learning. Um, if you've got any comments on particular content you would like me to create let me know and then that would be an easier sort of thing for us wouldn't yeah. it yeah but uh great job zoltan let's keep Thanks. going and um yeah great okay i'm very well how are you today very good thank you yeah are you in london or cotswolds just arrived back into the cotswolds Got in for a meeting with the planners today on Driver Road. Okay, how did that go? Very well. In fact, it's so good they've actually written a response within three wow. hours of leaving the meeting. Wow, 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 wow. Um, so they didn't really want to change anything? They didn't mind the size of the property or the look of the property? No, they thought it was spot on. I think they, Amazing. I've been keeping our friend uh, Will O'Brien happy, so he's been introduced to another scheme today uh, for yeah. uh, potential three apartments above and behind a commercial unit in Fulham. The swimming pool with the with the rising floor that yeah. is very expensive. I've got London pools have quoted around about three hundred eighty k, and I've also given him something in uh, Staines, which is a. Yeah. 3,000 square foot house, going to be re remodeled with extensions and uh, he's on that. So he's going to be pretty busy. If, 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 yeah. Even if, if like, two or three of these come off, he's going to be okay. Yeah, very good. All right, Al. Well, listen, have a great meeting with uh, uh, Will tomorrow and let's have a catch up, you know, at the end of the week. Sounds good. Okay, Thanks. buddy. Take good. care. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. -bye. Okay, bye, -bye. bye. just done a favor for my buddy and I've picked up this stone plinth and sink from this project in Fulham which they were selling some items because they were stripping out a house and uh, my buddy's found it on Facebook marketplace and uh, I said yeah I'll pick it up as a favor so I gave the guy 80 quid and uh, it took two of them to lift these items into the back of the rangey and my god they are so heavy um 
God knows how am I gonna get it out of my car when I get home and put it in my garage because uh, it is a two or three man job. Um, but that's that. I'm heading over to meet the client and Freddie at Sir John Lion House on the Thames. It's gonna take me about 45 minutes to get there. Uh, maybe quicker because the kids are on holiday and the traffic's pretty limited at the moment. So I'm just heading over there to see how they're getting on. I haven't seen the client for a couple of weeks, so it'd be good to catch up with her. And uh, yeah, so let's go and have a little look. Uh, I'll take some video when we're up there. Um, but apart from that, all good. Still dramas in the office this morning. Uh, for some reason, all Zoltan's editing software has kind of crashed so what's happening is the audio and the visual is not pairing up it's not syncing properly so i'm talking a little bit fast so he's got to slow it all down so it needs to be sorted because if there's some kind of virus and he needs to spend extra time on that it's just a pain in the butt so uh yeah he's pretty stressed out um hopefully we can save all the video we did yesterday and um but that's the thing and also when you're doing these videos it takes up so much storage especially if you shoot it in four or five k so these hard drives we've got two or three or four hard drives at the moment and they're just filling up like that um so he keeps wants me to invest more money into better equipment but let's see slowly slowly we don't want to go too crazy um so we're just heading up Kings Road, Chelsea, and we're going to cut through onto the River Thames, which takes us along Shaney, uh, Shaney Walk, I think, on the on the on the Thames, and uh, from there we follow the Thames all along until we go past um, Big Ben, and um, and then, then there's a shortcut um, where the where the Thames sort of bends round, and then we could pull out um, where the actual property is. So uh, yeah, let's see you soon. So back in the car, got myself a uh, cappuccino. Sorry I didn't shoot much video because my bloody battery was dead. Um, met the client, Julia. Met Freddie, the interior designer. Met Viral, the contractor. Everything is coming together perfectly. You know, everyone's extremely happy. The project is going like clockwork, which is amazing. Um, so I'm just heading back to the office. I've got the London Eye there. I've got Big Ben just here. I've got New Scotland Yard just here. And um, we're about 20 minutes away in this traffic to Fulham. Um, I hope Zoltan's managed to fix the software glitch and uh, Jemima has uh, managed to do something at work. Um, and uh, Will is still in the Cotswold, so he's busy uh, up there speaking to Andy, the client. Billy took him up there, and uh, hopefully they're on the way back soon. It's a terrible drive, and uh, they may come back to the office, but who knows. Oh, one bit of good news. The project in Chigwell the 10,000 square foot house. I had a phone call from the client on the way up and uh, they've exchanged contracts. They want to meet on site next week, possibly Friday, and uh, we want to win this job. So they're extremely happy with new. Um, we want to try and maybe get them onto a different method of construction, i.e. SIPs, Will can talk to them about that. And um, so that is a great bit of news. Oh, did you hear that bang? That was the sink in the back. That 70 kilos sink going backwards and forwards. And if I take a corner too quickly, bang. So hopefully it hasn't cracked because my mate Walter will be a bit upset. But, um, I'll speak to you lots soon.
I figured, I think it's a, it's a... Zoltan has broken the computer, everyone. <laughs> no, so it's uh, Wednesday morning and we've got big problems with the software, the editing software. Um, and uh, we've got to, uh, what have we done? Re reset, re-uploaded or what are we so doing? So I, I just done the operating system update yeah. because might could be related to that. But people have uh, <clears throat> upload for, for uh, what is a forum, you know, they yeah. say that, you know, this version of the final control axis is sometimes crashing and that's what we experience actually. But could be just one project broken, so I'm just gonna do that now yeah. to clear out everything about it and start from scratch, not from the whole thing. So I'm gonna copy out the good stuff we've already been done, like uh, Monday, Tuesday, and whatever was bad, I'm gonna re-upload and then we'll see. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Uh, can you just uh, quickly introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Will Nickel. Uh, I'm the uh, project director of New Projects. Okay, and how did you get in the construction industry? Uh, construction industry, I've been in the construction industry for about 30 years now. Uh, I left the Royal Navy, uh, moved to Windsor, um, played rugby at Windsor, got involved with a friend of mine who was developing properties. Uh, and that's how I got involved in the construction industry. Oh, that's good. You mentioned the Navy. Uh, how long have you been in the Navy and what did you do? What's your role? Uh, I was in the Navy seven years, uh, working uh, as a uh, seaman. So, um, interesting. Uh, great, great, great time. Uh, good, good experience, good grounding. You learn a lot of respect for not only yourself, but the people around you. <laughs> that's great. Thank you so much. This is one of our projects in the Cotswolds. Uh, it's a traditional uh, Cotswold barn um, and the extension will be clad in timber. Um, as you can see at the moment, we've got um, a solid concrete block uh, structure with steel. Uh, basically what it's going to turn out like, we'll have some glass uh, bifold doors at the back, we'll have a mezzanine floor uh, and traditional uh, slate roof. Um, it's going to be a kitchen extension, so it's going to be a beautiful sort of like big open space uh, for the family, which will uh, connect from a glass box onto the original cottage. Uh, as you can see, we've dug out ready for it. We've had to do a bit of remedial work to this property because um, the contractor did it before made a few mistakes, so we've had to take the block work down, rebuild it again. Uh, but now we're at a position where we're, we're pushing forward. Um, as you can see, we're panning around now and this is what the Cotswolds was all about, this beautiful Great British landscape. It's Friday morning and uh, Storm Dudley has smashed the country to pieces, but guess what? We are all safe and sound in Team New. The boys are at the top. We've got Guy, we've got Viral, and we've got Will talking about variations and valuations of uh, Sir John Lyon House, Stafford Mansions, and also a couple of new projects are going to be starting soon. Uh, Bradley, 
is on its way and then we're going to be heading over to Garrett Lane in Wandsworth. This is going to be a joint venture with a high net worth. Basically it is two commercial units on the same road with an opportunity to carve the uppers into three new apartments and a commercial on the ground floor. The investors on board, the JV partnership has been formed. All we need is a lawyer and exchange of contracts. So this is going to be very exciting and it's going to be up and running pretty quickly. Uh, as I said, Brad's on the way over. He'll be here at 11.30 and uh, then we'll be jumping in the car and heading over. So let's have a catch up soon. So I've been sent this project by um, one of our investors and um, this morning I met up with him on site with Bradley at a project we are potentially going to do together on a joint venture and um, it's the one I mentioned this morning you know the two commercials with the flats above now he also mentioned he was looking at this project here in Clapham as you see it had a fire and every single room is being damaged the question was to me how much is it going to cost to make it perfect he also wants a kitchen extension loft conversion and pod room um, so this this has been taken by one of those three dimensional cameras but look at it it's amazing you can like walk through look at the ceilings look at the damage here i, I love this so uh, this is the this is obviously the front room Let's go out into the hallway. Hallway, front door, look at that. Loads and loads of damage. So what I've said to him to start off with, I've said the whole property needs to be gutted. Back to brickwork, take all the floorboards off, all the joists, all the plaster, back to brickwork, and just have one empty shell to rebuild it from scratch. But look at the state of that. Everything, that must have been a horrendous fire. So basically the numbers I have given him are as follows. I said loft conversion, pod room, about 90 to 100. Kitchen extension, 80 to 90, including the glazing and bifold doors. Stripping out everything, new electrics, first and second fix, new joists, new floorboards, new plastering, new decorating, bit of joinery. You know, I said as well, make block this door up here and make this the, the master with ensuite. It's a big house. I think it's 1,700 square feet as it is now. But look at it. Every single thing is burnt to a crisp. So you couldn't save anything because can you imagine the fire and the water going through every single thing? It would always stink. So everything's got to come out. So I think this is... Um, Again, this is where the this is where the loft stairs would be going up here into the loft. Yeah, so it's in the auction, and um, he's going to put a a bid in. I think this week sometime. But I love this um, this three dimensional walkthrough. Makes it so easy. And can you imagine if. Um, well, for estate agents, it's a dream, isn't it? So I think in total, in my opinion, you're going to be spending 500 to 550 to do the work. 
there is a little basement as well little loft can little um cellar let's have a look down here bosh down here so i said to him let's um let's lower the floor by one meter so that'd be underpinning all around here and this could be converted into a utility room you know so you get proper head height you can increase the square footage down there as well so currently the square footage is 1700 square feet and i think once you've done all the extensions loft conversion pod room and uh kitchen extension you're going to increase it by 500 square feet or something so there you go this is the property in clapham and uh hopefully he's going to make an offer and um this could be another one for team new but what do you think about this software, this new technology? Um, I love it. If you've got a company which actually does this kind of thing, get in contact with me because I would love you to come around and maybe put one of these in a couple of our projects. Um, it's great to get an idea. And I think what I've just been told, you can put the cameras into the rooms and it takes all the measurements and then the measurements go into the drawings for architects. So you don't even have to do a measured survey anymore you just put the camera in and it does all the measurements for you incredible let me know what you think in the comments that's another episode coming to the end um, don't forget to like subscribe and share and I'll see you all next week just